I'm Nico Amalana, founding father and supreme leader of the Nico Defence League and I'm running for Mayor of London. As you can see, I'm taking this extremely seriously. Everything up until this moment has been a warm-up, a light jog, a walk in the park, but now we're about to take over the nation's biggest city. There is no greater leader in this country than me. So please, my friends, vote Nico for Mayor of London on May 6th or your breath stinks. All right, make sure you're registered to vote as well, please. You don't want to miss out on this one. Peace out, pussies. Yo, my YouTube family, hey. Back again with another video. This time around, we're going to be talking about Nico Obilana. He's, um, he's basically elect, what do they call it? Electing or running to be the mayor of London. Alongside him, we have other candidates like the drill minister as well and some other people that are really into politics but these two guys Nico and drill minister they're not their field is not politics basically but anyway before we get into the video make sure you guys go and like comment share and subscribe and let's let's just discuss you know because a lot of people it's like they're just finding out that Nico has um, is running for the next mayor of London but, me, but meanwhile, I've actually seen this info for a couple of weeks ago. Now, like if you actually do your research, it's online already. So a lot of people are just seeing it on TV now, on BBC News. So um, I saw this article that listed all the candidates running for to be the next mayor of London. And um, a lot of people have different opinions about uh, Nico being running for it. And even... Um, the drill minister as well a lot of people have their opinions and thinking they shouldn't be running for it the people are saying that they're not gonna win blah 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 and stuff like that but i hope you guys you saw the video at the beginning or the clips of nico and i think i might have added a clip for the drill minister just giving a quick speech about his um, about their cam campaign as well but after, I think I only just saw this clip of Nico just now, just recently. I only just saw it. And um, at first, before I saw the clip, I, I thought that um, maybe he's actually running for real, for real, for real. But, but after watching this clip here, yeah, I feel like he's just, he's probably doing a prank. You know, this guy does his prank so legit. Like, everything is so real. Like, when he, when he does his pranks that I won't be surprised if he's actually running to be the mayor of London as a prank, he's doing it as a prank even the clip he made, the video just looks like he's just joking he's just having fun it's just, <laughs> it's just a prank but let's just say if it's not actually a prank let's just say if it's not a prank do you guys think that he can win it or he will win it? do you guys think so he has a chance do you guys also think that someone like Drill Minister has a chance of winning it? Like, cause the way the way I, I just see things and the way things are just going, you know, I say like we're living in an age where there's social media and these people have big followings. Like Nico has a lot of followers, subscribers, and everything. Um, Drill Minister as well, I'm sure he does. So. I feel like with the power of social media and this type of time that we're in, anything can really happen. Anything can happen. But on the other hand, you can look at it as in, even though they'll get a lot of support and people pushing them, people promoting them, the the um maybe the only reason why why they might not win could be because of maybe they're not from a political background or people could argue and say what do they know about politics what can these people bring so it's as if most the majority of people are likely to just vote for people that are already in politics people that they have political history historical background Hey, what am I trying to say? Speak grammar. <laughs> Jesus! 
yeah political historical background yeah so that's what i feel like that's what would probably happen but anything can happen and and um maybe it's also a way for young people to take part in in such and there's a lot of young people that maybe they study law or they have some political background that they need to come out you guys need to come out and show yourself so maybe this could be a way to encourage and motivate young people who are into politics or who maybe they study politics or have some sort of political background or knowledge this could be a way to encourage them which is good which is very good and um yeah you guys comment down your thoughts though comment down what you think about this do you think Nico, Jeremy Minister, all the young guys that are not into politics are going to win? Are going to win, or do you think they stand a chance, or you don't, or you think they don't stand a chance at all? Coming down, coming down, coming down. What you think about the whole situation? Do you think Nico is just doing it as a prank? Because <laughs> I would not be surprised. So I would not be surprised. But anyway, that's just a quick video for you guys today. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love. Out. NDL gang. <laughs>